2024 Rolex TP52 World Championship saw 10 top level evenly matched TP52 teams muster in Newport, Rhode Island. It's the third regatta of the 52 Super Series 2024 season and comes hard on the heels of the XS52 Super Series Newport Trophy regatta. But this is the World Championship and everyone wants to win. And following the recent victory of Thailand's underdogs, Vayu, the feeling more than ever is that any team, any one of the ten, could win. The defending champions are Germany's platoon aviation, but they have opened their season with a brand new boat with two disappointing seventh places so far. But their hopes are rising. We won three world championships in this class and for me as an amateur driver it's uh, quite a big achievement. We made some adjustments and some changes in the boat uh, and we're looking forward to the week. Quantum Racing, powered by American Magic, may have struggled to close out regatta wins this season so far, but they're seven times world champions, as Greg Gundell has been with them every time. Yeah, 752 Worlds, so something I'm proud of. Uh, the first one in Lanzarote was obviously a big one with Terry, and then um, you know, each one was special. The one in uh, 2022 with Doug was really good, so uh, each one's a little bit special. But so too SLED are the past Rolex TP52 World Champions from 2021. We know what this fleet's like and it is incredibly easy in this fleet to be 8th, ninth, 10th after a poor start and two wrong shifts and uh, yeah we just see how we go. Everyone is excited about being back in Newport, it's such a popular and historic sailing centre and hosted by the beautiful New York Yacht Club out of Harbour Court and the town itself is excited and knowledgeable. Phenomenal, I mean Newport's putting on a great show, a uh, beautiful part of the world, it just highlights why Newport's been so popular over the decades of sailing through all the history of the America's capital now. The Rolex TP52 World Championship and Newport itself and the waters off Newport are a great venue for VIP guests from excess and they enjoy sailing on the 12 metres. And in the evening, Rolex take the chance to host the teams at beautiful Harbour Court, the Newport residence for the New York Yacht Club. All the time we're looking for more sustainable solutions, both on land and on the water. We're using mark set bots now, which are robotic marks, which means we don't have to use anchors on the seabed, nor do we have to use as many ribs. And on land, we're using blue water filtration systems to provide drinking water to keep the teams hydrated. Team Vayu arrived buoyed up by the recent dream win, but in the full realisation they have no expectation that they simply will carry on from where they left off. But nonetheless, they've clearly made big improvements. You know, it's always high pressure, it doesn't matter whether they've won or lost. I kind of rolled in uh, really excited to see if there were any dynamic changes, and I think that probably the key change is anything's possible. But in fact, on day one, Vayu do carry on from where they left off. They win the first race, they work the left side again, and 12 to 14 knots of breeze, they take first blood. But it's the 2021 champions, Sled, who are most consistent on day one, taking two second places, and they lead after day one. The second day, the breeze is lighter, and Tony Langley's team throw down the gaunt with two race wins, back to back, Gladiator go three in a row and lead the World Championship. Thursday requires patience as the breeze only comes in late afternoon and it's a race win for 2023 World Champions Platoon Aviation. Takashi Akura's sled then strengthen their challenge on the next day, keeping all the pressure on Gladiator, winning the first race of the day and then taking a second as Tina Plattner's Phoenix win the second race. So Gladiator lead into the last day of the championship it's all new territory for the British team with only a single point in hand. And there's no room for errors. We are excited because it's the last day of the World Championship being in a good position. But we have not to be too much excited to go there and sail well. I'll just go out and do the same as every day. Just keep the same routine, the same process. What will be, will be. There's uh, up 30 points up for grabs potentially. Uh, so there can be some big movers and some big losers. So Gladiator going to the final day with a lead of one point. But in the first race, they get a second place, uh, finishing just behind Alpha Plus, who win their first race of the regatta. 
Second race is Quantum Racing powered by American Magic coming through the finish line but Gladiator just behind give them a seven point lead going into the final race of the World Championship and the final race is another win in fact for Alpha Plus for the team from Hong Kong but Gladiator come through in 10th chasing Sled across the line that's all they need to do the Rolex TP52 World Championship title goes to Gladiator. We've come a long way in the in the last two seasons, the last one and a half seasons. Yeah, but before that it was it was a long, long road. It makes it all worthwhile, yeah. Particularly sweet is a world championship win and right here in Newport as well. It means a lot to us because it's the first one with this team. It's the first uh, event win for the team also, so it was very nice to pick it up at the, at the right time with the World Championship title. So after all, 10 races are sailed at the Rolex TP52 World Championship here in Newport. Top of the table, the world champions are Gladiator on 40 points, second are Sled on 46 points, and third, Platoon Aviation on 48 points. Amazing world championship, uh, certainly one of the best 52 worlds I've ever sailed. Really, really proud of the Sled team and uh, what we've achieved. And uh, yeah, congratulations to Gladiator who just sailed a superb regatta. We still don't sail a perfect day. It's always one good, one bad, one good, one bad. Still learning the boat a little bit, but I think we, we're going in the right direction. So after the Rolex TV2 World Championship, after three regattas this season, Gladiator lead on 112 points, second Quantum Racing Powered by American Magic on 115, and third Sled on 121. Well, that's it from the USA, wonderful Rhode Island and specifically Newport. We've had two great regattas here in uh, June and also now the Rolex TP52 World Championship, a full 10 race program, a new world champion in the Tony Langley's Gladiator. Now back to Europe, back to the Mediterranean. We'll see you in Puerto Portals next month. Yeah.